Excuse me, I have like crazy eyelash in my eye right now. Bad timing. <laughs> so that means you can't dance at the same time? Oh, well, I mean, I can try. I just end up poking my eye. <laughs> hey, so what's going on, Ben? Oh, well, you know, CES, but I think we have that pretty well covered in the show. Yes, I mean, you uh, do. And then you've got a whole list of it on the site, right? Yeah, I'm actually working on that list as we speak. It Yay. will be on the site tomorrow. Awesome. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard filtering it, you know, all the noise. There's so much that's just, you know, why is this even here versus what's actually worth, you know, reporting on. Okay, it's so kind of hard picking out. Okay, that. so if there was one thing in all the, your CES coverage, one, just one thing uh, that you wanted, what would it be? I really like that uh, eight thousand dollar ninety eight inch TV from TCL. Do you? That's the thing I want. But some of the things that uh, okay, this would be nice. Would be like you know that eight thousand dollar bathtub, <laughs> the stillness tub, you know, or the uh, do you see that uh, metaverse suit? I know like I didn't. You know, you use the VR headset, but it's got it's a full on suit too, so that you can like. Yeah, it's kind of like Ready Player One, kind of. Actually, I was just going to say that, so that this way when you're in the metaverse, you can, like, actually move your avatar around whichever way that you want. Yeah, and you can feel like, have like I think it said, like, uh, air cooling, so you can feel it on your neck if you're walking out, you know, virtually outside, and, you know, various... Now, how long like do you that. think we're actually going to... I mean, how long before we actually will be that as a standard protocol? For younger people, a lot faster now. You know, I think that uh, the big turning point is going to be, is Apple going to be able to make the VR, the AR headset mainstream like they did with tablets and smartwatches and the iPhone? Which, if they do that, I think it'll all be adopted faster. The metaverse, you know, what they offer and some of the others. So, you know, it could be, it could really pick up steam in the next five to 10 years. How many people are doing that? They're spending more time in this virtual world than they are outside of it. So. Well, yeah, I, and I, it always goes back to, I always go back to thinking about when Zuckerberg announced the metaverse and he showed samples of what it might look like. Nobody had anything below their their waist. It was like just these like little things popping around. <laughs> yeah, it's a, things like that are you going to get used to. So nobody knows how tall they are or what legs look like. <laughs> You know, hey, so I'd be okay to wear cargo shorts. So did you want to talk about something specific? Oh, you know, I wanted to follow up on something we talked about a couple months ago. You remember uh, I made the, the big life decision and uh, made the switch from a um, PC to a MacBook. Dump, 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 which, dump. Yeah, crazy big decision. So, yeah, so this is a follow up. I've actually been using it now solid for a little over two months. So kind of uh, wanted to give my experience as someone who has for 25 years being, you know, ex pretty much exclusively been on PCs to moving to a Mac and just like, is it seamless? Was it as hard as I expected and all that? So, so what do you think? Um, I have some, well, the, the big deal for me, the reason I wanted to the versus sticking with PC, I've always took a PC because I've always been cheaper. You get more, you do, you know, bang for your buck, but I wanted the seamless experience, the whole, I, I can transfer from my iPhone, my iPad, you know, just kind of go between devices without missing a beat. So that's why I did it. And I wondered how difficult it was going to be to migrate. And it really wasn't. What stayed the same, you know, it was, it was easy to move files. Uh, you know, you have the dock, which is pretty much the task bar on a PC. You have the uh, system preferences, which is the control panel, easy to find. And actually the settings on the Mac were easier to use. Than, they are. You know, just easier to find things. So um, the big things that were changes for me that I didn't care for, like you hook up the mouse and scrolling, it's like completely backwards. The way you, you know, your scroll wheel, you think it's going to go one way in the page. So that's the first thing I changed in settings. Oh, you wanted, did? You know, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I wasn't going to mess with that. That was something I was just not going to be able to get used to. So, And then uh, one of the other things, and I don't know how much you ever go back to use a PC, but on a PC, it is easier to drag windows around, especially on multiple monitors. You know, it's, it's you have to, you have to, yeah. do, you know, you have to minimize and snap. And well, do a little, you know, I, I think, you know, I, it's, it's a, it's a learned activity. Because if I if I watch Barry on his Mac, because he's been on Windows his entire life, 
and so I've got him on a MacBook, is that he'll be he'll call me and he's like, I just want to get like this file into that folder. Okay. <laughs> and then without thinking, I'm like, oh, you just do this. And he's like, wait, what? Stop. You know. <laughs> but I think it's just it's a learned activity that after a while it's like yeah. it's like riding a bike. You just don't think about it. You just go ahead and do it. Yeah. It's just that's the only other thing because I've had to get used to, you know, I've got one of the MacBooks where Apple started making its own chip, the M1 Pro. And so it's not always compatible with like the docking stations made by, you know, all these other companies, you know, to, to expand to different monitors. And so I had to uh, uh, work at that for a few hours just to get everything right. One of the docks I have, it wouldn't even work with to to project another monitor. So um, and even now it's like, okay, I'm going to open this program. I'm trying to open on this screen, but it'll open on the other monitor. So uh, it's little things like that that I've had to get used to. But, you know, I will tell you, I love the whole seamless experience I was looking for, like messages, oh, yeah. uh, notes, yeah. reminders, yes. um, spotlight search. That was a big thing. Oh, spotlight you search know, is amazing. That up. Oh, yes. Oh, man, search for anything. You know, anything it, on your computer, it's great. It was like, you know, I was looking for, my sister moved and I need to find her address. And so, and Barry's like, oh, here, I, I'll find it. And so he's on his MacBook and he's like going through her email. I'm like, no, just type in like, I just typed in her name. And then it was like, here's my new address. He's like, he was like, what? You know, like, you don't have to <laughs> scroll through everything. trying to, no, like, no, you just spotlight search. It's fabulous. That's become so easy to use. I don't know how I dealt with, you know, without it. But the other thing I really like is just the build quality. You know, you got this, this thing's in an aluminum case and uh, the specs, you know, one of the things that really also made me switch is I had an HP Spectre, one of the high end laptops, all, you know, lots of RAM, big SSD, i7, you know, Intel processor and all that. I only had it for three years and, you know, I overworked it to the point that one of the fans went out, which I didn't know about. It overheated, the battery swelled and warped <laughs> the whole case, making like the keyboard and like the space bar unusable. <laughs> but other than that, it was great. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I was like, okay, I'm doing this. And I've been putting this one through the same, you know, multiple browsers, multiple programs. I've got like three, four different browser windows open, probably with, 25 tabs on each and i've never even seen this thing miss a beat you know in terms of memory or slowdowns or it's so I now wish i would have made the switch before so yeah oh okay you just answered my question i was just gonna say like any regrets that you didn't do it sooner well that that first week though i mean i had some buyer's remorse because you, you dropped that kind of money on it i've never spent that much how much did, how much did it cost you uh, this one with the, because I went with the terabyte, uh, the M1 Pro. I didn't go for the M1 Max, but it was uh, a student discount because I'm a child in college. Uh, Twenty seven hundred. That you know what? That's a lot of money. That's a lot, yeah, of, money. A lot of money. Okay, so you're you gonna max it out. You get the best. It's six thousand. So. so are you gonna write all about this on the website? Oh, I can. Yeah, well, if you I didn't want, want to, to do it at first because there were so many things I didn't know about it. Maybe you need to. You know, maybe maybe you can couch it like you know five things you need to know when you switch from Windows to Apple, or or five yeah, mistakes that I made, you know, or maybe you only made three mistakes. I mean, I actually locked myself out of my iCloud account <laughs> accidentally moving to the Mac. So, that okay, took a minute, so. there's a mistake for you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, thanks for joining us here on the show, Ben. And as always, and if you're not catching Tech Refresh, Ben does an amazing job on the Tech Refresh podcast. Um, and we like Thank to call you the. I know you don't like. Do you do you mind when I call you the battery bad boy, Ben? No. Okay. All right. It's. It, you know, it actually, it, it's grown on me. So. Has it? Because I yeah, know you like... Thinking about having a t-shirt made. <laughs> I know you like the uh, the battery baron. <laughs> we'll have to, we'll have to yeah. figure that out. We'll toss that up. Bad Boy's got more of an edge to it, though. So you know, it does. And I, I see, like, you know, like a tat right here on you, like, you know, like a battery bad boy, you know, like something like that. What do you think? Yes. They, uh, yeah, I've already got one on this arm. This one is open, though, so... Perfect. All I right. I can, I can work it in. All right. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Kim.